Hey everyone, it's me, Logan. You can see my face now. So, while I know most of my channel's content is more movies or gaming or, you know, comics, that kind of stuff focused, you'll note that in the name it is the Variety Channel, and well, all I'm gonna say is one of my most popular videos that I've made previously was on Serial, and uh, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, today I'm going to look at uh, something you may or may not have heard of or seen in the grocery stores yourselves, and it's something that's kind of an abomination to man, and this isn't just going to be a one-time thing. This is what I'm starting a new series called The Cereal Cesspool, where I take a look at all just the weirdest and worst cereals. I'm sure you've seen them. We've got Hershey Kiss cereal. We've got Sour Patch Kids cereal. We've got Cinnamon Toast Churros. Whether or not they taste good, it's are they an affront to nature in their conception, at least. And uh, one of the latest I've found is um, Eggo Homestyle Waffle cereal. What the heck? And why would you take what's already a great breakfast food, Eggo Waffles, and make it something else? I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense. And these are, these are the maple flavored. I also saw a blueberry flavor. And while the blueberry waffles from Eggo are my favorites, I gotta, you know, I gotta try the, the standard level first, you know, the basic level. Then maybe in a another episode we'll, we'll see how the blueberry ones fare, depending on if these are the worst or not. And so, my first thought process when it comes to this is like, waffles are bad if they get soggy with like syrup or anything, so why would you put it at risk by putting it in one of the most likely to get soggy mediums of breakfast food there is? Cereal with milk. Because if some cereals, you know, your raisin brands and stuff, if they, if you let them sit too long without, you know, scarfing those bad boys up, they're done for. They're, they're soggy, they're a mess, you gotta throw it out, or you just gotta suffer through it. So, not a great look. And then when you, when you actually take a look at the box, look at these. Those don't look like Eggo, I mean, they, I guess they slightly resemble waffles. If anything, they just resemble honeycomb, a, a different cereal to me. So, nothing that great about it. I don't know. It's just one of those things where, I mean, I guess their marketing strategy worked, because I did end up buying it, but that's beside the, I'm here, you know, I'm doing my civil duty, so we can figure out if you have to buy it or not. Obviously, you know, going into all of these, I'm going to have a bias towards the not, but you know what? Let's give it a chance. That's the name of the other series that I have on this channel. Smart. So, on the back, I mean, this is a very important part of cereals. It's the back of the box. We got the breakfast banter. And I gotta commend the Ego people for not even trying to, like, pay an artist probably less than minimum wage to come up with a logo. They just took pictures of the of the cereal and put some clip art eyes and arms and legs and mouths on it. Like, you know, I guess you know what you're getting. And they even promote the, the actual waffles down there, the likely superior product. Because also, you can't have these hot. I There's no way to make hot cereal unless you make hot milk and cereal, and that's just terrible. Hot milk on its own is bad. But, like, the best part is getting some nice hot waffles with some some cool syrup on them, but you can't even do that here. So, so you know, we got some fun activities on here, like the, the Maple Maze. Beat Wally, who I guess is what that waffle's name is. Beat him to the exit. So, you know. so <laughs> moving on from that, we got some tasty tic-tac-toe. All right, next is Sweet Sunday, Sweet and crunchy dessert topping. Add syrup, too. Yum. That's these things on ice cream with syrup on top of it. But these are already maple-flavored. Like, the, that's just too much syrup, man. And these might not even be good. All right, waffle word search. This is easy. So we got we got some small ones. We got we got syrup there. We got uh, we got waffle, and then we have beg, because you're going to be begging for mercy after you have these. Or not. Let's I don't know. And then afterwards, how high can you stack scrumptious Eggo cereal? We're gonna see that you know after I taste it. But it's the moment you've all been waiting for. That, that smells very heavily of, um, <laughs> of maple syrup, like, a, a significantly too much amount of maple syrup. So, that's something that, you know what it smells like? It almost smells like, uh, maple oatmeal. I don't know if anybody else had this, or if I was just a weird kid growing up. Yeah, it's, we're getting a full bowl here. We're not, you know, we're not whips. So get some milk cereal before milk always if you don't you know if you don't do that get out get off my channel i no milk before cereal people the only way that's acceptable is if you finish all your cereal 
and then you still have milk left over, and you get a second bowl. That's when it's okay. So, I'm going to not spill this, but we got the nice cereal right here. So let's, uh, you know. God, you know, I didn't think about actually having to eat this, you know, talking about it, that's all good fun. But when you have to actually eat Eggo waffle cereal, you know, your life is going down. But, you know, it's 2020. I guess things can't get any worse. So, bon appetit. So the first thing I noticed is it's, these are too thick. Look at these boys. These are thick pieces of cereal. That's too thick to, to eat like a bunch. Let's, let's pick out one. Like that's fine on its own. But when you get a whole spoonful, that's too much. It's too, too thick. I got to put the cap back on the milk. Man, this taste is throwing me. It's kind of like a waffle. That maple quality is definitely coming through, but it doesn't taste as much like maple syrup on a waffle as like it's, I'm just mainly getting that maple flavoring. As well as the fact, I mean, it may be also the texture that's throwing me off because waffles aren't that crunchy. Like, you know, there's a little bit of crisp to them when you when you throw them in the toaster and get them all cooked up with Eggo waffles, but they're not nearly as crunchy as cereal. Let's get some more. Let's get some of these that have been submerged for a bit. How are the how do these fare? Strangely enough, the ones that have been slightly more soaked taste kind of better. I gotta say, and it may just be because they're so large and so tough that when you eat them in a whole spoonful. It's just more work, but I think when you get the ones that have had the milk soaked into them, it's better. So, I mean, it's certainly not, like, better than any other cereals or better than a waffle itself. I don't think it's a healthy alternative to either of those options because you could just get better cereals, like like Cocoa Puffs or something, or you could just get actual Eggo waffles, which have a chocolate chip flavor that I have not seen of these. I feel like my taste buds are just getting numb to it at this point where, like, just the shock of, you know, eating cereal that tastes like waffles is kind of gone, and then you're just kind of left with a mediocre bowl of cereal. The thing is, it's not terrible. Like, I could... I was going to say I could see someone enjoying this, but I really can't. I don't know what type of person would be able to sit down and start their day with a bowl of this, except for me, because I have to finish the friggin' box off now that I bought it. But it's not like objectively bad it's not like you know making me want to throw up it's certainly not good but it's like it's just if you buy it's not even eggo waffle quality taste it's i feel like the eggo waffle is just like some some branding association and they they just bought out a cereal that was like hey we're gonna make a maple syrup flavored cereal how does that sound and kellogg's went because it's kellogg's that makes this like that's great we're gonna take that cereal make new little shapes into waffles, waffles, and then we're going to call it Eggo Waffle Cereal because we know some idiot will buy it to review on a YouTube channel. And that's where I am now. So that's, you know, I'm that idiot. But I don't know. It's, I, it's not very good, but it's not bad either. It's just overwhelmingly fine, you know? It kind of doesn't look great, you know, how some cereals can look good. It definitely doesn't look great with the varying stages of yellow it's at, once some are above uh, the milk and some aren't. It looks kind of disgusting at this point, where some are like the pale, sickly shade of yellow, like Lucky Charms, and then the others are just like, the holes are being like fused together by the milk and the, and the um, whatever it is, cereal bits being rehydrated, and they're a much more like vibrant yellow. And it's kind of sickly looking. Mm, no, once it gets soggier, it's really bad. Ooh, it, like when there's like the regular level of milk ratio, that's when it's like the the ones that have sat underneath the top layer after you pour the milk in for a little bit, that's the best because it's too hard and crunchy at the top because it's too thick. And then once you get below, this is like really bad. This is like sogginess levels of, you know, like Raisin, ba Raisin Bran type stuff where it's just like, hard to eat after that so if you're gonna get this either eat fast or pour in small amounts because you do not want it to get soggy oh that's just so much worse once it's soggy that just that drops the entire thing so for the cereal i think i'd give it like 
a five out of ten. I think I'd say, cause it's fine. It's kind of tasty, but it's not too great. Um, yeah, it gets really bad when it's soggy. So just don't buy it. If if you see this at your friend's house or you know your grandparents' house or if you see it out somewhere, may I don't think you should try it. But if you really want to taste, you know, if you really want to satiate your curiosity, it's not the worst thing. It's certainly worse than getting regular cereal or regular waffles. However, we have two last things to cover. One, how does the post-cereal milk taste? Because, you know, you're thirsty after you drink the cereal and you just ran out of milk. Ignore this. You just ran out of milk. And uh, so you got to finish off the bowl. And sometimes, like Cocoa Puffs, one of my favorite cereals, probably my favorite cereal, it has the best post-cereal milk because it's just chocolate milk. And I will fight anyone who says otherwise. That is, Cocoa Puffs is the best post-cereal milk. Let's see how this does, because waffle, soggy waffle syrup milk is not an enticing sounding type of milk. Ooh, that's, that's not very good. That is just, like, very liquidy syrup. I do not recommend the post-syrup milk. So, you know, we got that out of the way. But, we were challenged by this box. How high can you stack scrumptious Eggo cereal? We have a we have a record to beat. We got. I'm doing the cardinal sin. I'm taking the the bag out of the box. Also, this is after one. I didn't even realize this. This is after one regular sized bowl of cereal. Maybe a little bit on the large side. I would say of a bowl of cereal. You're already down half the pack. That's not some great bang for your buck. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna stack these on a table that I found in a closet that has some questionable stains. But I don't care. Oh, these aren't circular is the problem. These are like all screwed up, man. Oh, this isn't, I'm not gonna be able to beat the record, bro. That ain't even cool. Dude, are these not at all like flat? They're all messed up. It's like, oh, Logan, wouldn't you expect it to have some problems? It's like, not to this level, you know? Look at that, I don't even know if you can see it, but it's three high and it's already Tilton, Tilton like a tower of pizza. All right, dude, this isn't, I can get a bunch of small two stacks. I can make cereal Stonehenge, you know, that sounds fun. Bam, cereal Stonehenge. What? I hate these. <laughs>